In this video, I'll be answering questions submitted by PaintShop Pro users on a variety of topics. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on Corel's Discovery Center. Here you can also download a written copy of this QA session and submit your own questions to be answered in future videos. Our first question is, I upgraded from an earlier version and I am so lost. Why can't I open multiple photos in the same workspace? And why can't I drag a layer into the workspace and save it as a new image? We often get questions from users who have upgraded from an older version of PaintShop Pro and find the workspace unfamiliar or can't find some of the tools they're used to. This is usually because they're using one of the new workspaces, Photography or Essentials. You can switch to the Complete workspace by going to File, Workspace, and choosing Complete. You can also select your preferred workspace on the Get Started tab in the Welcome screen. Once you're in the Complete workspace, you'll find the layout and tool placement that you're familiar with. To open multiple photos in the same workspace, make sure that Tabbed Documents is not checked in the Window menu. This will allow you to see all of your open images in the same workspace, and will also allow you to drag a layer onto the workspace to create a new image. How can I cut apart a file of scanned images and save them individually? To cut apart a file that contains multiple images, you can use one of the features of the Crop toolbar to make new images from each photo. Just drag out the area that you want to crop and click Crop as New Image. I have 8.5 by 11 photos that I've scanned and touched up. How can I print these at 5 by 7? To print to a different size than the original, we have an easy resizing tool. This photo is 11 by 8.5, and, and I'll choose Image Resize. I'll switch from Pixels to By Print Size, and the current size is displayed along the left in inches by default. I'll enter the new size of 7 by 5 and click OK. The aspect ratio is very slightly different between the original and new sizes, so the resized image is very slightly distorted, though it's just about impossible to notice. If you want to avoid any distortion, then when you resize, be sure to check Lock Aspect Ratio. This keeps the 7 inch width and increases the height just a bit. Now I can use the Crop tool, and in the toolbar I'll choose 5 by 7. The top and bottom are cut off, which I could adjust, and I'll click Apply. How can I merge two shots, one with me and one with just the background? I want to place the person in this photo onto the background in this photo. To combine the two images, I'll activate the one I want to be on top and drag its layer onto the background photo. With the top layer active, I'll resize it with the pick tool to match the layer below. With the top layer still active, I'll activate the background eraser and I'll set the brush size by holding the Alt key while dragging up or down. The sampling is set to continuous. With a really large brush, I'll erase most of the pixels that are far away from the person. Then with smaller brushes, I'll continue to erase more carefully around the person. I can use the pick tool to move or resize the person if needed. How can I download pictures from my phone or camera into PaintShop Pro? This is a question we get a lot, and we have an easy solution. If your photos aren't already uploaded to your computer, PaintShop Pro can bring them in directly. First, make sure that your phone or camera, or the memory card that has the photos, is connected to your computer. Then choose File, Import, from Scanner or Camera. Choose the device to import from, click OK, and all of the photos appear as thumbnails. Select the one you want, or use Ctrl or Shift to select multiple photos, or click Select All. Then click Get Pictures. From PaintShop Pro, you can now use File Save As to save these photos to your computer. Or, if you've already moved or copied photos from your camera into Windows, you can browse through that folder from within PaintShop Pro. From the Organizer, click to open Navigation, and find the folder that has your photos. The photos are listed in the organizer from where you can drag into the workspace for editing. 
can I increase the font and or size for layer names. The names of layers in the layers palette are indeed displayed in a rather small font. You can change the name of any layer by clicking on it, and it might help to use capital letters or even to add spaces between letters. You can also choose user interface text size large. This makes all UI text larger, not just layer names, which isn't a bad option if you're trying to reduce eye strain in general. Can I remove a sticker or emoji that's blocking part of a photo? This is the beauty of layers. If you're well organized and have different objects on different layers, then photo editing is infinitely easier. With this emoji on its own layer, with a transparent background, I can move it, resize it, or hide it by turning off its layer. This is one good reason to keep photos that you're working on in PSP format so that layers will be maintained. As soon as you save an image as a JPEG, PNG, or other raster format, all layers are merged into one. When an image does have everything on a single layer, the Magic Fill feature may be able to help. Use the Selection tool or another selection option and click Magic Fill in the property bar. In a previous version, I had access to Perfectly Clear SE. How can I use this in PaintShop Pro 2020 Ultimate? PaintShop Pro 2019 included Perfectly Clear 3.5 SE, which doesn't work with PaintShop Pro 2020. But we've replaced Perfectly Clear with the Corel version of Graphics Studio, which can be found in Effects, Plugins, Auto Effects software. If you want to continue working with Perfectly Clear, you can purchase the full version, which contains more features than the version included with PaintShop Pro 2019. To find this version, go to the Welcome Book, click Get More, filter by Plugins, and open Perfectly Clear Complete 3. This brings us to the end of our PaintShop Pro Q&A session. If you've been watching this video on YouTube, please follow the link in the description below, which will take you to this tutorial page in Corel's Discovery Center. Here you'll also find a written version of this tutorial, and you can submit your own questions to be answered in future videos. Thank you.